Hi, I am Rishit Shah from Tally School and in this video today, it is the fourth part of payroll in Tally ERP 9 and in this video we are actually going to create the payroll entry and which is also called a salary entry in Tally. So how you can create the payroll entry and attendance entry in Tally for salary of an employee. So salary entry is generally called as payroll entry or payroll entry is generally called as salary entry but another less known entry about payroll in tally is attendance entry which is also required because we are going to first create attendance entry and then create a salary entry because on the basis of attendance salary is calculated i have also created three previous parts which are published on youtube and you can find that in this post as well i'll link it down below in the description the link of this post so you can watch all the videos here you can go through all the material also here with images the entire process i've written down with uh, much much care so if you want to go step by step in your tally you can just open this post and open your tally and go step by step that will be very easy to learn tally and create everything in tally so uh, let me just show you quickly let me go up and tell you what we have learned in the first three parts in the first part we created employee categories employee groups employees in tally and we enabled payroll in tally before that in the first part so in the second part we created units for work attendance production types and pay heads these all are required for the salary entry that we are going to create in this video in the third part salary details and income tax details we defined both of them and in this video we are going to create attendance entry and payroll entry for the salary so let me go down and okay so here is the attendance voucher and then the payroll voucher so let me go into tally and if you have not remembered the example or forgotten the example we are going to create attendance voucher for both our employees which are kajal and ajay so for kajal we are going to create an attendance voucher of 300 days and for ajay it is 320 days and we have already defined the salary the amount of salary that they are going to get so on the basis of attendance the salary will also be calculated so let's go in tally and create an attendance voucher so i have already created attendance voucher but if you want to create attendance voucher you have to go to payroll vouchers from gateway of tally so press enter on payroll vouchers and then in payroll vouchers once you come in payroll voucher go to attendance or press ctrl plus f5 so i'll click on attendance here so this is the attendance voucher now we have defined everything about our employees about the company departments everything about salary as well income tax details as well so what we will do is we will not enter everything on our own we will just use attendance autofill so using that we can directly input what we want so i'll click on attendance autofill here attendance autofill so now select the voucher date which i have selected 31 3 2019 employee category so let's select employee category first selling costs for kajal then in there select kajal so i'll select it kajal then select our attendance production type which we have defined in the previous videos so select that and default value to fill now these are the number of days for which we have to enter the attendance so if kajal came in the whole year out of, of 365 days kajal came 300 days so i'll put in 300 and then sort by employee name so i'll click on employee name and press enter so you can see 300 days value total input here and current balance you can see 600 days because i've already created a voucher for 300 days while writing the post which i've shown you right now so 300 days and just press enter to accept it now i'll not accept it here because <laughs> it will increase number of days so i'll just go back and go back to the gateway of tally but you have to accept that 
and then your attendance voucher will be done similarly in the exact same way you can create attendance voucher for ajay also so attendance autofill 31 3 2019 the production cost for the was the employee category of ajay so production costs and then ajay as the employee now the production type or attendance type is production primary days of 10 hours so select that and 320 as a default value so press enter and enter so you can see 640 days here again this is because we, i have already created an attendance voucher for ajay now you have to just go ahead press enter press enter and save it i will not save it right now but you can you have to save it to create the attendance voucher now after you have created the attendance voucher we have to create the salary voucher or payroll voucher in tally the process is almost the same so what we will do we'll go into payroll vouchers once again now select payroll which is control plus f4 or click on payroll here we are in the payroll voucher now again we have to use or we can use the payroll autofill just like attendance autofill this autofill in option is useful because we have already configured all the information in the previous videos and on the basis of that we can easily create attendance and payroll voucher just like that in a minute so we have to click on payroll autofill now as soon as you click on payroll autofill a list of options will appear so select salary from the first list then select the date from for it is the number of it is the date from which the salary should be calculated so 1 4 18 31 3 19 press enter now select the cost category we will select selling cost because we are currently calculating payroll for kajal so selling costs and employee group so select kajal and press enter employee name sort by employee name and then you have to select a bank ledger cash ledger or a payroll ledger so if you have created a payroll ledger separately under a payroll it comes under payroll so you can select that so all your salary will go through the payroll account but if you are not selected if you are directly paying through bank or cash you can select bank or cash so i'll select bank here because generally nowadays salaries are paid through bank so select bank and you can see 300 is already debited for kajal so it is not showing up here because we have done it on the on the basis of attendance so attendance is only 300 days so no more salary will be taken by tally so let me show you the voucher that i have already created for kajal so i'll go to display now this is also useful if you want to see your payroll vouchers so go to display then go to payroll reports this option is useful for seeing all the reports of payroll so we'll go into statement of payroll then go into payroll register and then we can see two vouchers we have passed so i'll go in there one is for kajal and one is for ajay so basic salary one is for kajal you can see 300 3 lakh rupees here for kajal and total is 3 lakhs also when i try to create a create voucher right now in front of you it didn't take the amount because salary is calculated on the basis of attendance that we put in so i have only put in 300 days and the 300 days salary is on already calculated that is 3 lakh so this is how the payroll autofill works payroll voucher in tally in the similar way in the exact same way you can create the payroll or salary voucher for ajay as well let me just show you the voucher for ajay that i have created press enter and you can see if i go in there production costs ajay production is the type of attendance and then 160000 is calculated these this number is calculated automatically on the basis of the attendance that we have put in this is the beauty of payroll autofill in tally and attendance autofill in tally you don't have to enter any details just enter the days in the attendance voucher and then just select the details for which you want to calculate the salary tally will calculate automatically it calculates because we have defined the number of days in attendance and we have also defined 
the salary per day of both the person so this is how payroll voucher creation in tally works so i've already explained everything about payroll in tally so this was the last part and the fourth part of payroll in tally and i am sure that you've learned a lot in all of the parts if you want if you want to know full payroll in tally then i highly recommend you go from first part to this fourth part so each part is around 20 25 minutes so you can easily go through them one by one and you will know entire payroll in tally not just any simple function but everything about payroll in tally you will know then you have to just see yourself and try yourself and you'll become you'll know everything and you'll become expert in payroll at least in payroll in tally so th that is the detail level that i've explained everything about payroll in tally in this videos or in this video series i've also created a separate playlist for just the payroll in tally so you can go through that playlist and the videos will play one by one for you so thank you for watching this video and if you have liked this video then subscribe to tally school because i am uploading two videos daily one is at 9 am in the morning and second is 5 pm in the evening so two videos are uploaded daily and you can go through tally with my videos because i am updating daily new videos are coming out every day so you can have a grasp and edge in tally and again subscribe to tally school and thank you very much for watching this video